This video explains how to add a grid to a base R plot using the grid function. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the plot that we can draw with line two of the code. So after running line two of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new scatter plot is appearing, which is showing 10 data points. However, you can see at this point, the plot does not contain any grid lines in the background. So if we want to add grid lines to such a plot, we can apply the grid function, as you can see in line three of the code. And within the grid function, we basically need to specify two different values. So the first value specifies how many grid lines should be drawn on the x-axis of our plot. And the second value specifies how many grid lines should be drawn on the y-axis of our plot. So after running line three of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a new grid is appearing in the background of our scatter plot. And you can see we have specified the value two in both cases. And for that reason, the x-axis is divided in two different parts and the y-axis is also divided in two different parts. Now we could also specify other values within the grid function as you can see in lines five and six. So in line five, I'm first recreating our plot to show our plot without any grid lines. And then in line six of the code, I'm specifying the values three and five. So after running this line of code, another grid is appearing in the background of our plot. And as you can see this time, we have divided the X axis into three different parts and the Y axis into five different parts. We can also modify the style of these grid lines as you can see in lines 8 to 12. So once again I'm recreating our plot without any grid lines after running line 8 of the code and then in lines 9 to 12 of the code I'm specifying the different grid lines. Then I'm specifying the color argument to be equal to red. Then I'm specifying that I want to show my lines in a dashed style and I'm increasing the thickness of our lines using the LWD argument. So after running lines 9 to 12 of the code, you can see that another grid is added to our plot and this time the grid is shown in a different style. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.